quickly just to talk about Thanksgiving. You know, it was really good. Uh, I went home, of course, to back to the shy last week. Got to, you know, got a chance to spend time with family. You know, and that's always that's always good. I haven't been home know in a little while so it was definitely refreshing it was definitely um something that I enjoyed and you know sometimes you know when you get to be back with your your family your loved ones it just keeps you grounded you know sometimes you can lose yourself a little bit you can lose you know perception of things or you know things start to feel a little unreal or something if you if that makes sense to anybody out there listening but when you go home it all kind of comes back together well at least that's what happens for me you know, so I always appreciate going home, uh, you know, definitely being able to go to church. That's that was really good. That was great. Um, so I'm just grateful, you know, um, and, you know, every year I try to send out, you know, an inspiring, uplifting type of uh, text message, you know, not just the, the status quo. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, you know, eat a lot, you know, happy turkey day, gobble, gobble, whatever. You know, that's all good and well, but I always try to think beyond and beneath the surface and uh, try to come up with something that uh, is relevant and to me at the time you know that particular year and also that I think can ben- that will be beneficial to others so uh, shout out to everybody that you know appreciated my text you know I definitely put a, a lot of I always put a lot of thought into those texts um, and I'm glad that you know people really appreciate it because you never know what people are going through you know and so when you can be mindful and you can be a support system and you can be encouraging even when you don't know exactly what someone's going through that can go a long way you know because people people really really take that into account and it can really help you know so definitely always try to be helpful to people around you you know don't always be all about yourself you know don't always be materialistic or things like that you know really try to think beyond the surface um so if you have any Thanksgiving stories, like I said, you know, we are we have just left the month of November. But that don't mean that, you know, the food memories have gone because I know I ate good, you know, Nigerian style. Let me tell you real quick. I had the stuffing, the shrimp stuffing with the Jamaican peppers and the onions. You know what I'm saying? The, the turkey was on point. We had Cajun rice. My mom's homemade Cajun rice was so good. You know, store-bought cornbread. That's how we do it in our house, you know. Uh, my mom's, you know, she definitely wants to try to learn how to make cornbread next year. In case y'all don't know, Lady Sola loves cornbread. When I say I love cornbread, it's not a joke. It's very serious. So, you know, if there's anything people want to be creative and be like, man, I wonder what I can get Abby for Christmas. Make me some cornbread. You know what I'm saying? Put a little butter on there. Make it real sweet. You know, I like stuff sweet. Uh, Make it, you know, nice and soft. But I really love cornbread. I'm pretty obsessed with it. Um, So, you know, we had that. We had rolls, you know, the Hawaiian rolls and whatnot. Scotch egg. Uh, You know, some of my friends are kind of uh, familiar with what scotch egg is because, you know, um, my mom makes it every year for Thanksgiving as well as for Christmas. And I always manage to bring something back. I've just uh, recently, recently learned how to make it myself. So people really love the stuff, man. It's really good. Um, it's a deep fried egg, and it's a boiled egg, and then turkey meat is molded around it, and then you deep fry that, and you have to season it and put breadcrumbs on it and all that good stuff. So it's crunchy and has good flavor. If you season it right, it, it should have good flavor. So we had some of that. So, you know, it was good. You know, had pop and all that good stuff, of course. You know, the Mountain Dews. Oh, speaking of pop, Pepsi. Pepsi um, has just, you know, been promoting their throwback Pepsi version. It's in the stores now. If you're in Chicago, check out Jewel or whatever. But I guess it's just, you know, for the holidays. But, man, you know, I was talking to my mom about it back at home. She's like, yeah, this is the way Pepsi used to be in the 80s. Like, it's really good. Like, they use the natural sugar. And you can taste the difference. Like, it's so different from the Pepsi we have now. And, you know, they got the old school can and everything. So it's, you know, it's really good. Like, I really like it. I'm like, please, I hope they keep it on the market. I hope, you know, based on the sales that they get from that, that they let, you know, they just leave it. You know, we can have two types of Pepsis. I mean, we always got diet something and regular anyway. So can we have, you know, Pepsi old school and Pepsi new school, please? You know, because I really enjoyed that Pepsi. It's really good. Like, and I don't even drink Pepsi like that, but that was fine. I, I mean, if y'all, if y'all didn't get to try it and you see it in the store or something, definitely pick up a can. You know, it should be like 60 cent or 65 cent or something like that. And definitely try that because it's it's fine. It's fine.